Hello, and in this Chapman Game Dev uh, how-to, we are going to be showing how to animate a particle system using UDK's matinee. So to give you an idea of what this will look like, let me play from here. Our wonderful little particle system will move back and forth like a hypnotic snake. Ooh. Okay. So, how do we do this? First, you want to place a particle system in your level. To do that, uh, open the content browser, go find your particle system, make sure your settings are on all or on particle systems, and go find your particle system. I made a really blank generic one right here called particle test. You can find any particle system, it will work just as well. Take your particle system, drag it into your level, look at that glory. Now, once you have a particle system in your level, open up Kismet. Right at the top, open Unreal Kismet. So, here's what we're going to end up with. We're going to end up with an event which triggers the start of our animation of it moving back and forth. And then we're going to actually animate the particle emitter moving using Matinee with this wonderful crisscross of uh, ins and outs to make it continuously loop backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. So, Starting from fresh, let's get our matinee sequence in there first. So new mat, right click, new matinee, new matinee object. Make sure you have your particle system selected and double click on matinee. Get our new matinee window. Create a new empty group. Ignore this particle group. That is a red herring, much like communism. New empty group right here. Let's call it particle move. Now right click on that and in here we want a new movement track because we're going to move it back and forth. So now on our little uh, timeline down here let's move it forward to about two seconds or so and then take our particle system on our stage and move it over. You'll know if it's hooked up correctly initially you'll see a little yellow dot this is the original keyframe at time zero. We've now moved it over to where we want it to be for keyframe time two, and we're going to hit the add key button. That will add a key. You'll again know that it's correctly worked and that you'll see a line appear along the bottom of where it animates. And let's drag this little black slider bar back and forth and ooh, it will animate. Look at that, perfect. So let's clean it up a little bit. Currently our animation's a little long for our loop. So let's take this red triangle, move it down to about where that is, about where our second keyframe is. So that way it will go from that point to that point, back and forth forever. Um, now, that's it in matinee. Let's close this. Notice it returns back to the beginning. And this has been correctly hooked up to the particle move section. Now... Uh, let's set up the event that we want to trigger uh, trigger this matinee. In our case, let's just do it on level loaded. So new event, level loaded. When the level is loaded and visible, play. Now, one last thing. Let's see what happens when we try to play this. Let's do play from here. It doesn't move. Mm. So if we were to double click on this matinee again, Warning appears saying that our group particle move is associated with an actor emitter. That's our little particle system whose physics mode is not set to fizz interpolating and the object may not animate correctly in game exclamation point. Please consider changing the physics type to fizz interpolating. Okay. So despite the fact that we set it up correctly in here and when we move this around, it looks like it's animating correctly. This object is not set up to correctly work in game. Um, so select the object and right click emitter properties, or you can press F4. In here is all the properties for the emitter. Let's go down to um, display. Where are you? We're looking for the physics of this object. And it's not in physics like you think it would be. And... Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Okay, so. Right click on this object, on your emitter, and go to Emitter Properties, or F4. Now that the emitter properties are open, go to the Movement section, and under there, there's Physics. Set that to what they suggested, Fizz Interpolating. Once you've set that, now if you do a play from here, there our little object runs to the end and stops. So if we want to keep it moving backwards and forwards, we need to set it to completed and then play reversed. And then once it's done reversing, play again. Now when we play that, oh, sorry, I clicked on no kismet. Now we play that, it now goes back and forth from now until the end of time. You can do this with any particle system. It will work properly. All you need to do is make sure that you set your particle system's physics to interpolating. Thank you very much.